Um, I have <laughs> recently been thinking about <clears throat> what happens. I'm always talking about how to declutter fast. I have a lot of different things that are all about how to declutter fast. There's five easy ways to let the clutter go. There's five ways to declutter fast and it all makes the connections. But I suddenly realized that the most important piece of decluttering fast is knowing what you want. <clears throat> Connecting your activities, the behavior on the way to de getting your declutter on will help speed up the process and achieve the results you actually want. So we want it to, to figure out what your desired outcome is. And sometimes it takes a little bit of curiosity and experimentation before it can come to full fruition and it's part of the process but you have to at least have a nugget of what you want instead. Vision is something that's hard for some people, seeing the future, figuring out what you want as opposed to what you don't want, which is much easier for most of my clients. Dissatisfaction is what prompts action, the action of decluttering most of the time. However, if you don't have a clear desired outcome in mind, that effort won't last. It'll just be like organizing and rearranging in a vacuum. I'm sorting these things and putting them in a box because why? What are you trying to do? What is what the hope you have for putting those things in a box? If it's just get it out of your way, it's not quite good enough to have lasting results from your organization. So think about it a little differently reframe it to the connection of moving a project forward by getting some stuff organized that helps facilitate doing an activity or becoming a person you want to be. So start by thinking, there's kind of three things to think about when you're getting this vision together. First, what are the activities you want to be participating in and what are the ways of being that have not had room to unfold in your space because of the clutter? What's holding you back? What things are in your way? What would you do instead if things were ideal? So think about step two is that ideal version of the, of the space and the the space that would support you in doing something like those activities and that ideal version of being who you'd like to be what would that space be and then you essentially discern between what is essential for doing those things and what would be nice to have to do those things and everything else goes away now, I realize many activities happen in spaces and you may have some overlap of the items in that space and you may have some things that need to come into that space that wouldn't be ideal if you had a separate space devoted to each activity you participate in. But you can get much closer starting this way, reverse engineering what you need than just putting some things in a box with a label on it and not connecting it to why. Why are you holding on to those paints if you don't want to be painting anymore? Why are you holding on to that memorabilia if it's from a time in your life that you don't love? What if being a great mom meant actually spending more time with your kids? And how does putting a bunch of stuff in a box with a label on it help you do that? right? What is it that you're trying to accomplish? What are you wanting to participate in and who do you want to be? These are the questions that will give you the criteria for discerning what's actually in your way. Sometimes it's the actual containers. Sometimes it's the stuff in those containers. Sometimes it's ideas or proof or other people's items. Just get rid of it. Let's start by letting go once you know what you want instead. If you need to discover it, ask yourself the questions as you look at your stuff. Is this an activity I still participate in? No? 
I don't need it anymore. I've got a drawer full of stickers from when I used to bullet journal. I don't do that anymore. I use a different planner. I can let those stickers go now. But I haven't decluttered that drawer in a little while. So it's on tap for next time, but it'll be much easier because I know that that's not an activity I participate anymore. All right, I will see you next week. And in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, turn on your notifications and tell all your friends to join us next week. And have a delightful day.